aspiring artists learn about what goes on behind the scenes at an art exhibit as a part of the exhibition techniques class. However, the students had the unique opportunity to meet the artist and curator responsible for the International Art Center's next installment. Most people don't get to meet the team that goes behind an exhibit and so it was just a unique opportunity for them to be able to listen to why certain images were chosen um, as Jerry's work as photography and also how an exhibit gets a name. The man behind the camera creates the art, but the curator is the mastermind behind how it is seen. According to the artist Jerry Siegel, the curator finds the artist and organizes the show. I offer them things that I feel strongly about. I wouldn't, I don't just open up everything I've ever done, you know. So if it's work that's here, it's work that I feel strongly about, but then I, they have a larger body to choose from and then they get to kind of that's their job, is to tell their story with my work. The students learn that where the curator places the art is meant to be impactful. For instance, this large panoramic photo is being placed on a temporary wall inside of the museum so that the viewer coming in will be drawn to it. When someone first walks in the front door, uh, it's difficult to see all of the wall going down either side because you're at a 90 degree angle to anything that would be hanging there. So I asked Carrie if it would be possible to put a temporary wall in the middle of the space. 